Hey, Pablo Gunner here for a nerdy fitness vlog at Casa de Gunner. And so, I'm going to be talking about the usual things, uh, I guess, which is my workouts, what I've been eating, stuff like that. I haven't talked about music in a while, so I need to and I want to, so anyways. And uh, just, you know, whatever nerdy stuff comes out of my mouth or fitness stuff. I was talking, last video, I was talking about how much I love Legs Day. I'm not loving it so much today because I've been hurting anytime I sit down, anytime I stand up. It's like, it's it's horrible. Yet my, my calves, my my thighs, my, or not so much my calves, but my thighs, my gluteus. My gluteus is freaking killing me. So, but today I had abs. I did today, I did abs today after, after work, which uh, is, it was fairly easy considering I did legs because it kind of includes legs. But since it's my first abs workout, it's light on the legs being included in the workout. So it made it really easy to do uh, for abs. So it was really nice. And it was great because while play, while doing it, I was playing Anamana Gucci which is, uh, if you don't know, they're electronic, but it sounds like if you love classic gaming, like that's what they use to make their music, is like classic gaming sounds. It's like retro gaming. It's like Nintendo. It's so freaking amazing. I love it. I got into them really hardcore because of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which Scott Pilgrim vs. the World has done so much for me. Like, it means so much to me in so many ways. I read the manga, saw the movie, loved the movie, got the soundtrack, loved the soundtrack. And then they made a video game of it, and they made a video game soundtrack, and these guys made the video game soundtrack, so I bought the video game soundtrack because they're just absolutely phenomenal. And now that I have Apple Music, I'm like, hey, I wonder what else they've done. So I listened to Power Supply, that's the name of the album, uh, came out in 2006, and it was superb, it was fantastic, I love it. So and I'm going to continue listening to more of them, they're fantastic. So that's what I did while I was doing my abs workout. So I'm going to show you a little stuff, because I don't think I've shown too much of my abs workouts, and if I have, it's been like just cheesy but so here it is uh, I'm gonna show you some of my workout here uh, all right so what I have is the ups ins and outs I think I've talked about this but and I may have showed it which is lifting up and out so that's what that is then the I have lay down crunch which is legs completely flat and then just you know crunch but really focus on your abs focus on your core of course then there's the raised leg crunch which is uh you know you put your you have one foot down one, and it's same thing as the up in and out but it's up you know that's it and i did each i did one leg a minute then i did the other workout which was the knees up the crunch you know there and then I did the other side, of course. A minute each, so I do a minute each for all of these. Then the seated twist, which is just like the mason twist, except you're not lifting your feet off the floor and essentially just hitting side to side. Then we have the crossover crunch, which is, you can do it laying down or you can do it with your knees up. I find it easier to do with my knees up, like feel like it's better. And then just, you know, crunch, but you're just, a little of that on each side it's uh oh yeah it's it's angle it's almost the same thing as the mason twist but you're doing this on each side so instead of hitting here you're doing this it's almost the same thing in fact i might eliminate one of them just because it's so similar uh then lay down bicycles which is of course just you know that's pretty simple uh and then i have the seated twist of course leg with leg raise so each side that you do add a leg raise into it and then regular crutches you know just crutch it out then i have the same thing the angles which like i said almost the same thing so with leg raise then heel touches so like that and then you're just going to swing touching your heel on each side you don't want your feet too far away because you're not going to reach then we have Spider-Mans, this is what I call them, which you could do a full Spider-Man and go like, you know, and, and crawl. You could do a Spider-Man crawl if you want to, but uh, I'm not that hardcore yet. So right now, my Spider-Mans just consist of being up like this and then doing these right here, bringing your each knee to each elbow, pretty much. That's what you do. So... That's what I do for that. Then oblique crunches, which is 
right here on a side and you're just focusing on that oblique right there and then what you're going to want to do do that for each side but i'll do one side and then i'll do my next one which is plank spider-man's which i call so planks and then same thing kneel knee to not quite the elbow but like your tricep pretty much and you're not gonna be able to bring up your knee all the way that's fine or all the way to your elbow that's ridiculous unless you're some sort of mutant um anyways then i have push-up planks so yeah which is just uh yeah this just this right here and like i said i like to do ab thrusters it makes it a lot harder uh but like i said before it looks perverted so you won't don't probably don't want to do it in public whatever that's fine and then of course spider-man uh spider-man push-ups which are really really hard which is you come down when you come down you bring your knee in come down bring your knee in and it, those are tough i can only do like about 15 for a minute it's really, maybe a little more 16 uh that's what i got but anyways uh and then of course just planking like i said with thrusters and it's about all together with 40 minutes once you include the warm-up so do the warm-up do that of course stretch your abs out you know so you're not too sore and everything like that so that's what that workout consists of right there more in depth i think i did it like slightly i've done it before but that was, that was more in depth uh i played some more mass effect the other day it's so good i'm loving it it's just one of those things though that when you discover a new world you're like oh god there's so many new things to do and then I beat, I also played Breath of the Wild, and I beat the uh, the elephant um, temple, and then uh, and then that boss in there too. It was it was freaking awesome, and it was it was fantastic. Not as hard as previous Legend of Zelda games, but still pretty difficult and fun. Uh, the world is more difficult than the actual temples, I feel like. But yeah, so loved it. Uh, I haven't seen the latest Game of Thrones, but hopefully I can check it out soon. It's been tough because me and my wife. We have opposite schedules now, and it's one of those things we have to watch together religiously. So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, and as far as food goes, so for food, I my wife got me some organic Pop-Tarts, so I had those for breakfast. Like I said, I'm not, like, since I'm on days, I don't know what it is about days, which maybe this is kind of contradictory, and maybe this is why maybe it's harder for everybody else, too, because everybody else is on a day shift schedule. Uh, so... Maybe I'm just being a hypocrite because I'm going like, oh, they changed my schedule and they screwed it up and now I'm on days and everybody else, most people are on days. But I feel like most people don't work almost two hours away. So it's 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 a different deal. But anyways, so that's what I had. Then I didn't eat. Like I said, I, I ate, that was around five, I want to say is when I ate. And then I ate again around 10 and I had the chicken teriyaki bowl it was not like it's like it's like chicken it's like grilled chicken slices and then uh you know so the teriyaki sauce this rice uh some sliced carrot in there green beans and broccoli it's delicious it's fantastic i love it the wife got it for me from i want to say sam's or costco um one of those i think it's costco but anyways so yeah that's what i had and then i didn't eat again until 2.30, I ate, I just had a blueberry Noosa yogurt with, uh, like I said, once again, I had the, I got a scoop, a spoon scoop of the um, granola, chocolate peanut butter granola, threw that in there. It was a good mix. It was tasted fantastic. And then I had to go get comics. I didn't work out after I got off. I just finished working out actually with my abs workout. Wonderful workout. Feel good. And so, yeah, and so, like, I'm kind of taking a week off, sort of, because I'm not doing my workouts twice a day, uh, just because I don't have the time, and I, like, I'm not getting enough rest in between each workout, whereas, like, before, I had, like, almost, like, 10 to 12 hours break between each workout, and if I do it when I get off, and then before I go to bed, that's only, like, a four to six hour break, so, uh, anyways, so, yeah, and, um, so I just, I just snacked. Actually, no, I, I was good for, for a long time, and then um, I had some leftovers, uh, a, a, a egg roll, and then uh, I'm going to have some ribs that I just threw finished in the oven about an hour ago. So, um, And they look pretty meaty. There doesn't look like there's too much fat in them, so fat on them. 
hopefully not in them either. But so yeah, so that's what I got right now. And then of course the some natural juice that I got from the natural grocers. Uh, it's it's been really great. So and then the rest of the night have to edit the podcast. Have to edit. Well, I already edited the comic cast. I posted it. It's been up for a while, but I haven't had it. I haven't had time to post it on the website. So I will post it so that it's posted by Wednesday. Uh, and, and that's that. And then uh, I'm gonna try to play. Um, I'm gonna. Tr- I think I'm gonna try to play both of the games for PlayStation Plus because JD's been uh, pretty busy. But I'll I'll see if he wants to do one of them. But I'm definitely gonna do the Freedom Fighter, which is Atawale's um, story in from uh, from from the Pirates of the it's the, the Assassin's Creed Pirates game pirate game. So, but it's Atawale. So I, I was totally jacked about that because I wanted to get it. I just I'm a slacker and I don't play that much video games anymore. So this is my perfect chance. So I can't wait to try that out and, and review it and see how it is. So look forward to at least like an probably an hour's worth of gameplay, maybe a mission or something like that, or or like a few tidbits of gameplay. Stay nerdy, Planet Earth. Uh, stay fit, stay healthy, and love and peace.